What's up guys, this is First Night and we just hit 500 subscribers, so let's do it! All right, just kidding about opening the champagne right now, but this does call for some type of celebration. I'm making this video for just to thank everybody and to go over the plans for 2017, but right now, to thank everybody, all 523 of y'all, for subscribing. And I wanna give a special thank you to those people who like the videos, because that helps out my channel, and comment regularly, because I, I see a lot of people comment over and over again, like on different videos, and every time I see someone that I recognize, I'm like, that's that's my dude right there. You know, I, pre I appreciate all of y'all, but those people, you know, I see y'all, and I really appreciate that as well. So 2016 was pretty good. I started off, you know, zero subscribers in like August, I think. Now we're at 523. Um, I didn't really understand what I wanted this channel to be. I just wanted to start making videos, get better at editing, get better in front of the camera, which I still need a lot of work with. And I just made a bunch of random videos, vlogs, just sit down videos. Tech I made one video about you know accessories for the new MacBook Pro, the 2016. And that got like, as of right now, like 55,000 views. And that, that, just like, that was awesome. I, I'm so stoked that I made that video and that it hit, you know, it went it went viral, I guess, you know, not a millions of views, but viral for my channel, and that was awesome. I, you know, I couldn't imagine anything, you know, going better than just getting 55,000 views on a video I thought was just gonna get a couple hundred, at most. But we can talk about 16 as much as we want. I don't really want to. I wanna talk about 2017, that's the future, that's where we are now, so let's, uh, let's talk about 2017. So. First, let's talk about like the video plan for this channel for 2017. I plan on building or making one to three videos per week. You know, I want to have an iDev journey every single Friday. Of course, there's going to be variable weeks where I don't post any videos, like a finals week or something crazy like that. There may be some weeks that I post more than three where I'm just feeling like I'm going to need to crank out videos. So, you know, we'll all see, but that's where I'm going to try to keep it around. iDev journey every Friday. And then the other videos throughout the week be like tech review videos, whatever tech I accumulate over the next year, uh, my tech setup episode, a rate to my app episode, which if you don't know what that is as of viewing this right now, I plan on starting that series within the next week or two, so just stay tuned for that. Or whatever other video I think is suitable for the channel. So stay tuned and you know it'll be an interesting year. And speaking about other videos that may be suitable for this channel, it may not all be tech. So Within this year, 2017, I plan on building a tiny house with my girlfriend. I mentioned that in a previous video. And I plan on doing that, and I want to make videos about the process. So basically, you know how my iDev journey is from zero to app? That'll be from zero to tiny house. And I was thinking about making a whole separate channel for it, just to focus on tiny house and whatnot, but I think it's suitable to put on this channel. After all, the channel name is my name. It's not like a tech specific channel. I know some people may not be interested in it, but at most it'll be one video per week. Probably not though. It'll probably be closer to one video per month, maybe two videos per month. So it'll be at least one video per month. And I think that's it's suitable. I wanna keep everything centralized in one channel. I have my series, so it's not like I'm gonna post a random tech video here, random thing there. I mean review will kind of be random but you know if you like iDev Journey tune in on Fridays if you like the tiny house thing tune in on Wednesdays or Tuesday whenever I you know whenever I post this and if you like you know all the other videos just subscribe and watch all my videos that would be ideal all right today is tomorrow so as you can see we grew three subscribers overnight and I'm re-recording this because I didn't like how it turned out the first time Things might be a little bit out of whack from like 10 seconds ago in the video, but hey. So let's talk a bit about iDev Journey. Within the next two or three months, chapter one of iDev Journey will be coming to an end, which that is the Udemy course. The Udemy course, a Mark Price, iOS 10, and uh, Xcode 8, or Swift 3 uh, course on Udemy. I'll be finishing that up, better be within the next two or three months. And while I'm on that topic, I'm becoming an affiliate with Udemy and I'll be getting an affiliate link that I'll be putting in the description of like all my uh, all my videos. So if you do go purchase this course on Udemy, be sure to use that link if you wish to support me because I'll get a small commission and it'll really help me out and help this channel grow and whatnot. But back on track, 
chapter one will end, chapter two will begin, and chapter two will be me creating the app that I talked about in like I Journey two or three, this, the stock market social media type app. I'll be going from zero to app, and then chapter three will be, you know, putting that on the app store or whatnot. But alongside, you know, me taking you along building and developing this application, I'm also going to discuss uh, the plans for chapter three. So chapter three, or so the plans for chapter three, we'll discuss in chapter two, which will be marketing. You know, when we put it on the app store, I don't want to just put it on the app store and just, yes, I hope, you know, I hope it turns out well. I hope people download it and whatnot. No, I'm going to market it. I'm going to discuss with y'all, you know, the marketing techniques that I've found to work or that I've seen work before and that I plan to use and everything that that has to do with marketing, the business side, maybe even like the legal side of the business and things like that. Just everything that runs through my mind in chapter two, we're going to discuss an iDev journey. And then hopefully within like six months, so that'll be eight to nine months into 2017, chapter three will start and chapter three will consist of launching on the app store, that's the beginning, monetizing it, and really just growing it and, and turning it into a business. Like I said, I don't want to just have it an app, I want it to be a business. I want, this is going to be kind of like subscription based, so there'll be recurring you know uh, payments every month for, for members, not all members, but for those who wish to pay. There's a lot of details that we'll go over in chapter two and whatnot, but chapter three is growing and maintaining the business after we launch it on the app store. So by the end of 2017, I hope to be at that stage, you know, where I'm growing and maintaining the application in the business. But alongside that, I want to do one of two things. So we have that, and then I don't want that to just it just be that. You know, I grow that, but I also need to grow in other aspects. I need to make more apps to get better. But if I feel like I can take on clients, if I feel like I have that ability, and then I can find clients, then I'll do that. The alternative would be me building another app, uh, a little bit more complex app than the uh, stock market social media one. That's why I'm starting off with the stock market one and not the one that I want to with, that I wish to work on at the end of this year because this one's a little easier. I still think it's really hard, at least in my state of mind now. But this other one it has to do with freelancing and freelancers and things like that. Plan to start that while I'm growing and maintaining this one. So I'm still gonna go full force on growing and maintaining this, I don't wanna half-ass anything. But on the other side, I'll either be taking on clients, me freelancing, or building that freelancing app. So I think I discussed everything that I wanted to discuss. You know, we went over the video plans, one to three videos per week for the most part, iDev Journey, carry it throughout. Um, I have a couple more series coming, the My Tech Setup, the Rate to My App. And I'll do a lot of other tech videos. I wanna, you know, I made a lot of freelance videos, so I think I'm gonna make some more freelance videos. I think I may make more videos like this. Some videos that can, you know, kind of drag in more of a subscriber base and audience. Because if I just stay in this one lane, you know, I wanna niche down, but if I just stay in this one lane, then I'll only be able to grab people every here and there. But if I kind of branch off a little bit, like make a, you know, best, you know, what programming language should I learn in 2017? That video will be coming out here soon, you know, within the next week. And there's a couple other video ideas, like, like like discussing what's the best computer for iOS development. I think people, you know, for your situation, there's a computer that's best for iOS development. And I'll go over all that in the video, hopefully within the next week or so. You know, things like that. Things that I think a lot of people will watch and enjoy and kind of, it'll attract them to my channel and really be engaged in all my content. I want, I don't want just like tutorials or just just iDev Journey even. I want to make sure I'm a little bit more broad just so I could, you know, pick up people from different spaces and grow this channel, grow the, grow the subscriber base and have more loyal subscribers. I would rather have more loyal subscribers than a whole bunch of random subscribers. That's why I'm trying to stay within computer science, iOS development, that realm, okay? So that's it for this video. Thank you all for the 526 subscribers. And until next time, have a good one.